Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Before we go on to the newly renovated world of Hollow Bastion, there are a couple of more things in the pause menu that I want to show you that are not really all that important, but they're pretty cool. Now, just like the previous games in the series, we have entries for the characters in the, in the game, and also, I don't know if these were in the previous games, but there are stories for each individual world. But that's not really what I wanted to show you guys. Down here in the character link section, there are a bunch of characters, like the name might imply, but if you click on one of them, it gives you a whole bunch of information about that character and their role in Kingdom Hearts, but also under their name, it gives you their first appearance. So Mickey Mouse's first appearance was in Steamboat Willie in 1928, and this only works for the Disney characters in the game. Of course, Sora made his first appearance in Kingdom Hearts, so they didn't really put that in there, but for all the Disney characters, it shows you the first instance of that character in the real world and the year in which that appearance was made. And little features like that just make this game feel a little bit more polished than maybe Kingdom Hearts was, but maybe that's just me. But also in the status section here, we can see that we can keep track of the experience of each individual form. Also, the forms level up by themselves, like separately from Sora, and each form has a different way of getting experience. So the Valor form levels up by every time you deal an attack to an enemy, you get one experience. So each different form is going to have different ways of leveling up, and that's the way that we're going to level up the Valor form. But speaking of the Valor form, the Valor form has a lot of new abilities that you can't even unequip or anything, like the, you wouldn't want to unequip them anyway, but each form is going to have different abilities that kind of complement that form's specialization, I guess. So the Valor form is really good at offensive stuff, so that's why we have a whole lot of offensive abilities and the items are just you know the synthesis items that i have picked up i guess along the way in previous episodes but now that we've gone through all that we need to go ahead and take on hollow bastion now up here we have our second i believe puzzle piece and right here we have a weapon shop that is run by huey dewey and louie from kingdom hearts but the weapons that you can buy there for donald and goofy aren't that much better than the ones that we already have so i'm just going to hold off on that but over here we have the synthesis shop which is just a Moogle, and these Moogles are all over the place. You don't just have to come back to this one Moogle to do synthesis stuff. So if we go ahead and try and synthesize something, we hand over all of our synthesis materials, and we get an elixir for that, which is pretty good, considering all we had to do for that is hand in one type of material. So there are different sorts of goals that you can get throughout the game with synthesis, which makes synthesis a lot better, I believe, in Kingdom Hearts 2. But now that we've done the synthesis shop, you know, introduction, I want to go ahead and talk to our very own Donald Duck's uncle, Uncle Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge? Uh, who? He's Donald's uncle, a business typhoon. Before the Heartless showed up, he traveled the worlds on a gummy ship with the king. He was helping to set up a traffic system. A transit system! What's all the racket? Why, if it isn't Donald and Goofy. Hello, lads. Aye, y'all look hale and hearty. So do you, Uncle Scrooge. Aye, if only I were. I kind of seem to recreate my favorite old-time ice cream. I'd make millions if I just got it right. Terrible. Now, one reason his ice cream might be terrible, if you examine this, his shop is actually a giant refrigerator, but at least his ice looks like it could make good ice cream. Now, up here we have another puzzle piece that you can't get to unless you turn into Valor form, or you come back later on when you have a higher jump, which, believe it or not, you get it by leveling up Valor form. So either way, you're going to have to be dealing with Valor form. And if I don't get this in, like, two more tries, am I going to have to actually speed this up? Yeah. I guess I will. I'll see you guys in just a second. Well, actually, I guess not, because I got it, you know, pretty much immediately. But we're going to come over here and get another cutscene. Oh, what's going on? That's the town's defense mechanism. Yuffie! Look out! Oh, 
All right, so we're finally gonna get some fighting in here with the Valor Form. And as you can see, the Valor Form is much more powerful than regular Sora. The only problem is that you can only use it for a little, you know, a limited amount of time. And as that form bar drains down there in the bottom right, we're running out of time. But luckily, we did defeat all the enemies here in the amount of time that we had in Valor Form. Hey, you guys! I see you're still in top form. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Well, what did you expect? I want the others. Great! Hey, Yuffie. Have you seen the King and Riku? Nope. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on! And from Yuffie, I guess, we get the Marketplace map, but no matter what they do, I will never ever be a fan of Yuffie. I don't know why, I just cannot get over the fact that she stole our materia way back in Final Fantasy VII. Now, I could have reverted back into regular Sora before the drive bar, the form bar, ran out there in the bottom right, but I thought I would try and get as much running and jumping in as possible while I was Valor Form, just to make this, you know, getting these treasure chests a little bit easier, even though it's pretty easy regardless. Now, over there on top of that chimney-looking thing, there is a puzzle piece that we cannot get to right now. As far as I know, I really tried to get it, like, off-camera, and no matter what, I could not get over there. But here we have another treasure chest with a dark shard in it, and there's one back up there that I missed on purpose. I'll be getting that as soon as we're done talking to whoever happens to be in this house, no spoilers intended, even though it's not really a spoiler because we're going to be going in there right now. Meet the Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee. We missed you. Well, if you ain't in top shape... I knew it. Knew what? A while back, everyone suddenly remembered you guys, all at the same time. You remembered? Wait, does that mean you forgot about us? Ouch! So where have you guys been all this time? We were sleeping. Where? In cold storage? It doesn't matter. This is great. Everyone's together again. So, um, we're trying to find Riku and the King. Have you seen him? Right. Sorry, but let us know if there's anything we can do to help, okay? Okay. Thanks. Don't go thanking us just yet. Hollow Bastion's got a problem. A big problem. You mean, like, nobodies? And Heartless? That's right! Sounds like you could use our help. Then let's cut to the chase. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we were hoping the three of you might give us a hand around here. Like we're gonna say no? Hmm. <laughs> I forgot who I'm dealing with. What do you mean by that? Just think of it as a sort of Leon compliment. Follow me to the Bailey. There's something you need to see. Oh, I thought it was you. Right on time. That's fine! Sora and the gang said they're gonna help out. Splendid. We'll count on you. Right. right. Ah, yes. Did you give them the cards, dear? Oh. Here. They're presents for you. Leon thought you might like to have them. Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member! What was your plans? Kinda cool, huh? Hey, thanks, Leah! 
Huh? Oh no! We're supposed to be at the Bailey! Just a moment, Sora. What about your magic? Huh? Oh, that's right. Maybe you forgot it while you were asleep. Now, what am I to do with you? I suppose I'll have to lend you a few spells, but be careful with them. Thanks, Merlin. To the Bailey and fast! Now, I know I am not the best voice actor in the world because I have done a really bad old guy voice in this episode and a terrible Scottish accent already, but is it just me or did Aerith's voice actor get terrible between Kingdom Hearts and Reach of Memories and Kingdom Hearts 2? I don't know. But up here we have another puzzle piece, which I don't know how you were supposed to get that, but I got it anyway. Maybe you could have jumped off the bed. But speaking of the bed, that's another thing I wanted to show you. You see some strands of Merlin's long beard. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems like a very strange way to describe that bed. It could have said anything from Merlin sleeps here to I don't know what they could have said. But to describe it as there are hairs here, I just thought that was kind of weird. And there are actually a lot of things in that room that are pretty cool that I'll, maybe I'll go back and examine later on because we will be going back there a lot. But here we get a mithril shower, and as soon as we go through here, we're going to be getting yet more cutscenes. Look at that. Oh. We want to restore Hollow Bastion to what it used to be. Who knows? Maybe even something better. There's still a lot to do. But I'm sure we can handle everything. Except... for that... and that. We'll handle them. Well, that's good to hear. So, Sora, do you know what's going on then? There's this guy, Pete, who's been going around plotting with the Heartless. But he's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. The ones we need to worry about are the nobodies. And those Organization 13 guys in charge, too. You called? You're doing well. Who's that? This calls for a celebration. Anything. This is actually a fairly difficult fight, but the first wave of enemies is fairly easy because all it is is a bunch of dust. But in a minute, we're going to be getting some new enemies, which I actually am sorry to say I do not remember the name of them, but they have a pretty cool reaction command that I will try to do. And I hate to bring this up now because I already talked about voice acting just a few minutes ago, but I realized it like popped into my head as I was watching this cutscene with Leon, but Sid actually has a voice actor of his own. And I don't know if it's just me, but he sounds a lot like Merle from The Walking Dead. And yes, that's right, I am actually a very big Walking Dead fan, and I really didn't mean to devolve this into a talk about TV shows, but one of the reasons why there has been significantly fewer episodes... By the way, here's that reaction command. And I got it right. Basically, all you gotta do is initiate the reaction command, and then hit circle or X, depending on what region you're playing, on the, the end segment and you'll do a lot of damage but uh, one of the reasons why it's been a lot of time between episodes lately is because i've been really caught up in watching breaking bad i cannot believe i haven't been watching that as it's been on because it's a really good show and i really recommend it and holy crap is leon absolutely wiping the floor with all of these nobodies sometimes i really wish that Leon could be one of our party members instead of Donald and Goofy. And that reminds me, you cannot use Valor form on this fight because Goofy is not 
in the fight with us right now, so we can't absorb him and turn into Valor form. But we got the Fire Elemental, and here's going to be some more cutscenes. The Keyblade. A truly marvelous weapon. Were it only in more... capable hands. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourselves! <laughs> Organization 13! Good, now we can settle this. What a shame. And here I thought we could be friends. <laughs> What's the big idea? Oopsie Daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. Then we are gonna make you move! See, that would work. If I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh, tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! He used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Right. What? He got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. The Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. <laughs> wow! Huh? What's this? Gorge, you think? Get it? That must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. I'm fine. Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful out there. See you soon. Hikari no yusha ga kiite akireru. Anna kozou ga 
できれば彼にも楽しんでもらいたいものだ<笑>カードを配ってやるとしようこっちに都合のいいカードをねしばらくやりたいようにやらせて締めるとこだけ締めるってことやけに自信たっぷりじゃないか何かあったらお前がねじ伏せてくれるんだなえ俺俺手洗い仕事はちょっと向いてないって予算か心乱れたふりなど我らが何を感じるというのだお堅いことだせっかくの楽しみが消えてしまう真の目的を見失う者は全て身を滅ぼす諸君キーブレードの勇者は再び歩き始めたその行く手に種をまくのだ行け So unfortunately, we cannot go back to Twilight Town right now, but what we can do is pick one of these two worlds right here, which I guess it's not really a spoiler, it's either Beast's Castle or the Land of the Dragons, which is Mulan and Beauty and the Beast, respectively, or maybe not respectively, I forgot what order I said those in, but what I want you guys to do is leave a comment saying which one you want me to go to first, because we can pick whichever one we want. But I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, and I hope to see you guys back for the next episode.